role models. Role models provide a vision for what we aspire to be. It's visual proof of what we want to be. And when we see desirable traits in somebody, desirable values, language, or even behaviors in others, our brain instinctively wants to copy it. Role models can drastically impact your view on your local community, the world that you live in, the behavior that you have, and your personal growth. Welcome to JT in the Raw, show 237. 237, where I chew the thin on business. And after 32 years in business, I have just a few things to chew because I'm still learning. And this week, I want to share with you three stories around role models and how important they are in our business. And then I want to share a poem, a poem that I did at a conference. I didn't write the poem, of course, but a poem that I shared at a conference back in 1998 around role models. Hang in there to the end of the show for that. Okay, first up, let's talk about these role models. And it's interesting, you know, when... Um, when I've been doing some uh, netball coaching courses recently, one of the really important aspects of, of sport is to make sure that the grassroots of sport have the support of the elite. And the grassroots, the kids, the under sixes, under sevens, under eights, under nines, under tens, they are the future of our sports. They are the future representatives of our country. And in the coaching courses, what they've said is what's paramount from their research for the under sixes, sevens, eights, nines, and tens is that they see role models. That they see older girls in clubs coming back and working with the younger kids. It inspires them. It helps, gives that aspiration of what they want to be when it comes to sport. Now, it doesn't matter whether we're talking sport or whether we're talking business. If you've got a brand new person inside your club, inside your um, car dealership, inside your practice, brand new person who's working there, pairing them up with a role model will help them see the behaviors that are expected at work and of what are important. And I'll give you an example about that very shortly. But what I believe is I think we've lost the sight of the power of role models. The power of role models for our kids, the power of role models for new employees. And so things that we can do, that we can learn from other people that are doing the job really well, will be extremely powerful in our business. Now I wanna give you this example in a business, this business example. Hi Audrey, how are you? Hope you're doing well over there in the USA. Let me give you an example. One of the services that we offer in my business is mystery shopping. And recently we mystery shopped a club, a gym, and when we mystery shopped that gym, we got the regional manager. Hey Dwayne, how are you? We got the regional manager. So that's like the top, the owner, the regional manager's next. The regional manager scored nearly 100% on their mystery shopping. There was like a couple of absolutely minuscule reasons why they didn't get 100%. But for all intensive purposes, they're at 100%. Now, let's think about that for a moment. What is the power when that regional manager, who through an independent third party scores 100% in a mystery shop experience, what is the power when that person then comes back and says to the team, we're now doing mystery shopping. And the team goes, yeah, 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 but it's too hard. Or yeah, 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 I knew they were a mystery shopper. Or yeah, 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 they weren't really ever gonna buy. All of a sudden now, the credibility of that regional manager 
shoots through the roof because they've gone through the same process that all of the staff have gone through. And they are now a role model for the behavior, for the actions, and for the results for the rest of the team. That's the power of role modeling. That is the power of role modeling. Now, the third example I want to give you is yesterday. Yesterday, I organized for my little netball team, Paige Hadley, to come along and train. She came along, she had an event in the morning, she came in the afternoon, she spent about an hour and a half, nearly two hours with our girls. Now, for those that don't know who Paige Hadley is, she plays netball for Australia, she is captain of the Swifts, she is, um, she's had an ACL reconstruction when she was 19, she's played in two World Cups, she is the top of a game. For many, she is exactly, exactly who they aspire to be. She is inspiration and she is aspiration. She is a role model. And she is training these girls. And let me tell you what happened. The girls stopped listening to me and they listened to her. She was saying exactly the same thing as me. But they listened to her because she was their role model. This is the power of role modeling, ladies and gentlemen, is when we can get somebody that people in, are inspired by and aspire to buy, the behavior of our people change. They open their ears, they listen. At the end of two hours of training with Paige yesterday, I had 14 girls that were inspired and, as, and aspirational to go to that next level in netball. Whether that next level is winning more games, shooting more goals, completing more passes. Paige was incredibly inspirational and aspirational for our girls. This is the power of role models. And I want you to, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you because all of you who are probably watching have role models. Have people that inspire you or that, that, that you look at their behaviours and their traits and that gives you vision of what you, you want to be like. You probably have that. But what about your team? What a great way to start a team meeting, your next staff meeting, and say, who's your role model? Who's your role model in sales? Who's your role model in delivering customer experience? Who's your role model when it comes to leadership of your department, your team, your, your um, uh, company? What a great question to ask and kick off a meeting to see exactly who their role models are. So I thought I would share with you this poem. It's a bit of a lengthy poem, um, but I think it gets the message across. Now, if you want a copy to this poem, I will send it to you. Just put poem in the comments below, P-O-E-M in the comments below, and I will send this to you. But let me make it bigger so I can read it, and I've got to read it so I will be Taking my eyes off the camera, but it goes something like this. There are little eyes upon you, and they're watching night and day. There are little ears that quickly take in every word you say. There are little hands all eager to do anything you do, and a little boy who's dreaming of the day he'll be like you. You're the little fellow's idol. You're the wisest of the wise. In his little mind about you, no suspicions ever rise. He believes in you devoutly, holds that all you say and do, he will say and do in your way when he's grown up like you. He's a wide-eyed little fellow who believes you're always right and his ears are always open and he watches day and night. You are setting in an example every day in all you do for a little boy who's waiting to grow up to be like you. If you like that poem, put poem in the comments below. I'll send you a copy of that. The reality is this, ladies and gentlemen. You are role modeling yourselves. As a leader of a business, you are role modeling. The behavior that you deliver 
people will watch and replicate. So you better make sure you're on your A game every day. And sometimes it's great to get role models in to be able to have an impact in our business. Dwayne Wimmer, it's coming directly to you, sir, after this. I love role models. I have my own. And I think they have impacted my life very positively. My challenge for you is find yourself a role model, but you are probably a role model for so many people. And look at others that you can bring in to role model the behaviors that you want in your business. I hope you've enjoyed J10 The Raw this week. A bit different, and I hope if you got any value out of it, you hit me with a love heart, whether you're watching live or on replay. And as always, I'd love you to share the show. Just hit share button anywhere around. If you think you know anybody in your Facebook feed who might in fact get value out of understanding more about what role modeling is. I'll catch you on the flip side.